Hi, I'm Alan from Yellow Tuxedo, and today we're going to be talking all about how to record a podcast and a YouTube video at exactly the same time. Now, you may be wondering why you'd want to do that, but with YouTube being one of the biggest search engines on the planet and podcasting being one of the fastest growing uh, mediums for people to enjoy and listen to, surely being able to do both at the same time to grow your business has got to be the way forward. If you like what you see on our Yellow Tuxedo videos, we'd absolutely love it if you subscribe to our channel. So please click on subscribe and on the bell to receive notifications when our videos come out every week. You may really be wondering why you'd want to do that. Well, you know, podcasts are becoming even more popular. They've been around for years now, but the growth seems to just be keeping going, growing and growing and growing. And YouTube, well, that sells itself. You know, I think everyone I know uses YouTube at some point. A lot of them are typing in, how do I do something? You know, so we want to be answering questions. And from that, that's where you should be thinking about what your content's going to be about. You may be thinking, do you know what? I just want to vlog my thoughts, my opinions, and I want to record a podcast on it. Now that's great. We would always recommend that you intersperse that with answering questions because you want to make your content searchable as people are searching for answers to the questions they have. So that's a good place to start. You may also be wondering why, well, hold on, my ideal client lives in Twitter and Facebook. It doesn't live on a podcast or a YouTube. And that's where we always like to challenge the ideal client model. We don't think anyone sticks to just one or two platforms. Nearly everyone we know and everyone we speak to looks at more and more platforms. I mean, take me, for example. I, I've used TikTok, podcasts, YouTube, Twitter. I use all of them, actually. So if I'm your ideal client, then why not try and find me on all of the platforms I use? And once again, when it comes to YouTube, generally there's a couple of different audiences. There's the people looking to answer questions. How do I do that? Where is this? How can I, you know, take great photos, etc., etc.? And then there'll be the people who are interested in what you're saying, and that's what comes with growth. So the why you want to do this is because it's a great way to reach your audience. At Yellow Tuxedo, we are all about growing your online presence. And online presence makes means you've got content spread and far and wide as possible. And YouTube and podcasts are gonna be two of the biggest to do. Don't forget, YouTube content is evergreen. It's not like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, where it sort of disappears within 24 hours. The YouTube stuff's gonna be there forever as people are typing in their questions that you are answering with your content. And if you're gonna do one of these, you may as well do the other because how to do it is interlinked and we're going to show you how to do that in just one moment. When it comes to recording your content, it really is simple. Now, everyone I know has a phone or a smartphone. Now, you can get lots of complicated, modern, up-to-date, high-tech equipment or you can just use your phone. We say this every week. Our YouTube videos are recorded on an iPhone. We're happy. It's an iPhone XR, so it's not even the latest and greatest. It's about 18 months old now. And uh, that's what we use to record our content. Now, I will be honest, we don't use the built-in microphone of our iPhone because if you are going to put this content through onto a podcast, then you do want the audio quality to be as good as you can possibly make it. So that's why it is worth investing in, in a decent microphone that you can plug in. Now, there's lots of different types from ones that hang over from little boom mics that go on top of your camera to lapel mics i would recommend getting one of the little boom mics that go on top of your your phone there's a picture of one up here um 30 40 50 pounds on amazon for a good brand one that you know has got good reviews and is going to work effortlessly for you and the increase in quality is amazing it is definitely worth it especially if you're going to be putting the audio into a podcast now you might be wondering which way round do you do this so I would record the video with the microphone attached, with whoever you're interviewing, or whether you're just talking through some of your questions and thoughts yourself, or whether you're, you know, you're answering your FAQs for your clients to find. I'd record that as a video on your phone to be used. 
once you have that video, you can do what editing you want to do to it. You don't need to do any editing at all if you want to put it on YouTube, if you don't want to, that is. Um, if you want to put some of the stuff like we have put on the beginning of ours, just to kind of introduce the video, then that's also relatively easy for someone running their own business to do. It's certainly not something that necessarily needs to be outsourced. And, uh, you know, that we may put tutorials up on that in the future just so you can learn how to do that. And then when it comes to taking the audio from that, once again, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Uh, first up is once the video's on YouTube, you can export the audio using a piece of software like ClipGrab. And what ClipGrab does is it goes onto the YouTube video and you can download the video and you can, or you can just export the audio to be used elsewhere. Um, or if you want, before you've even uploaded it onto YouTube, uh, Upload the video, upload, put the video on your computer, put it into your video editing software. We've been using iMovie and Final Cut Pro on our Macs. Uh, iMovie comes with your Mac, and I know all of the others have, uh, there's free software available everywhere to be able to do this. And when you share your edited video, so you're not gonna actually do any editing, you're just gonna put the video in and then share it back out, and it will give you an audio only option. And then you can share out the audio, and now you've got the audio file itself. So now we've got your video either on your computer or in YouTube, and you've got an audio file that you've exported from your YouTube video using ClipGrab, or you've exported it from your movie editor as a you know standalone audio file. Now, I'm not getting into the complexities here of file types and everything, because whatever the defaults are, they are okay for you who's just getting going. Now, the next part of this is we've got our YouTube video, we've uploaded it, we've got our channel, it's fantastic. It's all optimized perfectly for everyone to find and all there for us to share out. So next, we need to host our podcast. So there's many different ways you can host the podcast. If you type into Google how to host the podcast, there will be an absolute vast amount of answers. I'm going to recommend a couple today. SoundCloud is, SoundCloud is what we used for our Outside Bride podcast, but there are other ones like Buzzsprout, and they all have their own benefits. SoundCloud's a massive using uh, website, you know, with lots of music and lots of cool people sharing content around. And so why not host your content there? Because if it's got a lot of users already, then the first place that they can find the podcast is on where you're hosting it. So you may think, I just want to host it over here and then share it over here on iTunes or Spotify. But if your content can be found here as well on SoundCloud, then why not have it there? So them having a large user base is fantastic in enabling it to be found already before we've even started sharing it around. When you've uploaded it to SoundCloud and you're hosting it there and you've put all the settings in and you've made some lovely artwork and you've labelled what it's all called, uh, then you get a share feed, an RSS feed. And it's that what you that's what you need to be able to share it out to all the other iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Store and everywhere else. So then you go and create accounts with all of them and you just type it into Google and basically what it's going to want is that feed. And that's the feed you put in and sometimes it will take 24 hours to authorize and then all of a sudden you've got your podcast ready to be shared out on multiple platforms for you to share out on multiple platforms. Now that's really really exciting and I want to give you a bit of a first world kind of example of how we've done that with our other business The Outside Bride. So every week we used to do a live, it was on Facebook and on YouTube at different times and we would do that at 8.30 on a Wednesday night and we would answer questions about people getting married and having an outdoor wedding. And we would stream that live uh, on iPhones to YouTube and Facebook Live. Uh, once it had finished, we would stop the, the recording, the live streaming, and we would export the video down off of YouTube and or Facebook. And then if it was coming from Facebook, we'd then import it into YouTube. And if it was already on YouTube, then great, it's just sorting itself out. We would then go and tidy it up, make sure it's optimized, titles, tags, good artwork, because YouTube likes to get a good picture, because it's called click-through rate. And then from there, we would export the audio using clip grab in this instance, as mentioned, and we would take that audio, host it on SoundCloud, and that would push it out to iTunes, Spotify, and everywhere else we were hosting it. But it didn't stop there. You might think you've got YouTube, you might think you've got uh, your podcast sorted. 
From there, we now get to repurpose and share it all out again. So from there on, I then created blog posts where we would put the YouTube video in. We would then put, create another blog post with the podcast in. Both would have different keyworded titles so they could be found independently on the internet through Google, through people typing in different uh, different keywords that we'd researched and made sure were working. And that would all be scheduled to go live at the same time with corresponding social media a post to let everyone know that it was live. Well, actually, what we used to do is in the morning, we would launch the video and in the afternoon, we would launch the podcast for perhaps people driving home, something like that. And we had such a vast amount of content from just recording one video. And what's really cool is if you're when you're working on your macro content plan, so you want to think about chunky bits of content that you can repurpose and reuse, then this is a great place to start. And if those chunky bits of macro content are answered a question that you can record a 5, 10, 15, 20 minute video on, or you're interviewing other suppliers and collaborators to help, you know, in grow the online presence even bigger, then they are your chunky bits of macro content and you've got a YouTube video, a podcast, a blog, and everything else that you can basically squeeze out of it and spread across the internet. Any questions at all, please do let us know. Please put in the comments beneath what you're recording, what your macro content is, links to your podcast even. We'd love to know all about it. And if you do like what we do, please do give us a thumbs up as we'd really like to know that you're watching and enjoying what we do. And we've got more videos coming every week. Thanks very much. Bye.